Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldale Model Railway. So in today's video what I'm going to do is rewind the last couple of days and show you some of the bits that I've been doing on the layout. Just before we do that though I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody that has subscribed to me recently and for those that have continued to subscribe thank you very much for your support. Right so let's crack on with the video. So as you can see here I've removed out all of the viaduct and what I've done is just given another quick layer of static grass over the top to the back section just to make sure that the colours blend in nicely and I've finally got the end section towards the back end of the viaduct uh, static grassed. It's just had its first layer on there so I haven't swept it up yet until it's all nice and dry. And also what I've done there on the right hand side is to add in what will be a little road that will then lead up into the station there. So there's been no more progress on the station so far. Um, basically what I'm doing is working on getting the uh, viaduct all sorted. So let me take you over to the other side and show you the viaduct. So the viaduct is now on this side of the workbench. Uh, that's because what I've done is all of the um, capping stones, uh, these ones here, um, I've now done all the way down the bottom. I've done all of the uh, top ridge stones. I've also um, added in all of the um, uh, papers for the supports on these sides and now um, the whole nine foot of the viaduct is all added together um, so it's actually one whole uh, unit now um, and I can pick up uh, the whole thing um, it's probably going to need two people uh, to be able to uh, move uh, the whole viaduct over onto the other side um, as you can see it's quite a big structure and then moving over to this side now what I've done is to add in the five blocks of the wall that will lead up into the station there as you saw in the video uh, what I have done is I've painted uh, this top section um, I'm just waiting for the brown to dry and then what I'm going to be doing is just adding a grey in at the bottom here because that's where like the tracks will be. Now the reason for painting uh, these edges uh, brown is because what I'm going to do is put some uh, small bushes and a little bit of static grass, maybe some four or six mil uh, just to look like weeds up in along the wall um, and then also I'm going to uh, make some four and six mil tufts 
uh, so that I can place all down the bottom there. Um, and then what I'll do is put a, um, a fine scatter uh, just down the edge there. Um, and then I'll be um, laying the flexi track on top and then doing my ballasting. So some of the ballast will fall sort of uh, over the side of um, the edges into this middle section here. So it will kind of blend in quite nicely and I can just brush it in between uh, some of those uh, static grass tufts. Um, so that's all nice and complete. Well, 90% complete. Uh, the actual main structure itself is all done, uh, which I'm really happy about. Um, it's been quite a little while that I actually made the kit and then I haven't actually joined it together because I've been lifting out um, parts of the um, viaduct when I did all the backboards and stuff. So the big plan for this section here, um, what I'm going to be doing is adding in um, some ID back scenes. Um, I've gone for the 15 inch, which will take it well above uh, the top of the viaduct there. Um, I'm going to start the scenes uh, from the edge of this board here. Um, so I've got about 10 foot of back scene. So um, that should take me all the way up to the very edge. If I just pan you around to the very edge of where that back scene is there. So um, this sort of countryside station, uh, countryside scene here is about eight foot in length. Um, and then I've got sort of two foot either side. So while I'm continuing to work on the viaduct, um, because with the viaduct, I need to uh, just finish off the painting. Then I'll be securing down um, the track and putting all the droppers in. Um, and then while all that's drying and stuff, because I'm after doing all the ballasting and stuff, and I want to do all the detailing of it and weathering of the um, tracks before I fix it back into place, uh, what I will be doing then is to uh, fit in these back scenes while I've got everything lifted off on this section here. So then the back scenes will all be done and I won't have to worry about having to put them in afterwards because you know, moving this uh, viaduct is going to be quite a job. Um, definitely, like I said before, a two-person job. And I want to make sure that I've done everything I can to finish off the scene rather than me having to lean over the layout and do any bits on there. Uh, with the um, station, so whilst the viaduct is out, what I'm going to be doing is wiring in uh, the lights. I've pre prepped some holes and I'll just bring you over and show you. So I've pre prepped all my holes for my dropper wires. Uh, so two sets of wires will go down there. So one for each track. Um, if you can see in down there, I've also added in some more holes to um, put the wiring for these lights down there. And then at the back there, I've also done some holes for these sets of lights and then because I'm going to have um, some buildings uh, underneath the um, back section here um, I've made the holes slightly bigger so that I can then uh, wire up any lighting for the houses that go in the background. So bringing you over to where the station is um, what I've done is temporarily added in and if you can see there are the buildings at the back um, because once there's a baseboard on top um, I wanted to make sure that I've got some buildings and stuff to populate the back there so I won't be fixing the top piece in and I'll be working on doing the base layer of scenics um, and housing that will go sort of in that stretch and so from a distance you'll be able to start to see it will zoom properly if it will focus properly. Um, it will start to see that there's some actual detail behind the back of the station there. And then when the lights are up, um, with those sort of kind of white buildings and stuff, they should reflect quite a bit of light around there. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I've got um, all of those in place and everything before I start fixing anything down. 
I think it just gives another sort of sense of depth to uh, the station area. Um, I just need to add in a little bit more um, paper to cover the edge of the platform there. And then I'll start detailing up uh, the bushes and stuff that will form the little road piece uh, that will lead up into the station there. So with the station, um, I'm going to raise up the uh, road a little bit to match the level of uh, this piece here. Um, and then that will tie up. And this is just going to be sort of a, a little road that will be a drop off point uh, for the station. And then uh, this back half here will just be kind of like a little fence, maybe, um, I don't know, some sort of a little gate or something here. And then I will work on uh, doing some detail for the actual station platform itself. And then what I'm going to do is do a um, small piece of card that will just curve round. So once I've got this bend in, uh, this station will slowly sort of curve round the bend um, and it will be sort of like a half the width of that. And then with having the houses in the background, uh, they'll look like they're sort of at a different level to the actual station itself. So my next project for next week's update, I should be in a position where I'm adding in my fourth running line, uh, the one towards the, the back where the viaduct is. I'll also be adding in my back scene. And then I will be doing all of the support work for the baseboard that will go on the top of that section there. So thank you very much for joining everyone. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little update on some of the progress that I've been doing over the last couple of days. And I look forward to seeing any of your videos or live streams over the week. So take care, everyone. Thanks for joining and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.